Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to my Mathematics YouTube channel, Master Academy of Mathematics. This is Dr. Srinivas. Today, we are going to discuss about the main important questions to be given in the final examination paper of Mathematics 1, Unit number 2. It is eigenvalues and eigenvectors as per R18 and R20 regulations. You just go through the problems. Definitely you can expect the similar type of problems in the final examination papers. The first one. Find sum and product of eigenvalues of a square matrix. 2 by 2 matrix is given. Just you calculate the eigenvalues so that directly you can find out its sum and product. Second, if 1, 3, 2 are the eigenvalues of A, then find the eigenvalues of 2A plus 3A. So, A matrix is not given, only its eigenvalues are there. We have a rule that expression 2A plus 3A, you are supposing it as a B matrix. And the B eigenvalues can be calculated by replacing A by lambda. That means B equal to 2 lambda plus 3. Substitute directly lambda values 1, 3, 2 you will get the eigenvalues of B matrix. Third, find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a square matrix. Very easy. It's a direct problem. Directly you can find out eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Fourth, find eigenvalues of A square where A equal to. This can be done in two different ways. For the given A matrix only, you calculate the eigenvalues. And A square eigenvalues are nothing but square of the eigenvalues of A. That is one process. Or you construct A square matrix or for that A square matrix only you calculate the eigenvalues. In both the cases you will get the same. Fifth one. Find the eigenvalues of one expression where A is given. Same. That expression you are supposing it as B. And that A matrix you can substitute in the B expression. Make the simplification. You will get the B matrix. For that B matrix you can calculate eigenvalues. Or else you calculate the eigenvalues for A only. And that eigenvalues you are substituting in the B. Where A is replaced by lambda. And directly you will get the answer. In both the cases same answer. Sixth problem. Reduce the quadratic form. An expression is given to canonical form. It's a lengthiest one, the most important one. By orthogonal transformation only, you are calculating the normal form of or canonical form of quadratic form. Seventh, find the characteristic polynomial of a square matrix is given asking to calculate only the characteristic polynomial. Only you are finding the eigen equation. Eighth, Find the eigenvalues of A inverse, where A is given. We have two options. For that A matrix, you calculate the eigenvalues. And A inverse is nothing but reciprocal of the eigenvalues of A. Or for that A matrix, you find out the A inverse. And for A inverse only, you individually calculate the eigenvalues. Ninth, diagonalize the matrix. In order to say a square matrix is diagonalizable, it has to satisfy a property P inverse AP equal to D. Under that condition, you call it as A is diagonalizable. You just verify the condition. Tenth, find A power 4 for A equal to matrix is given. Don't calculate di directly A power 4. Here, either you are using Calle-Hamilton theorem or diagonalization process to get A power 4. 11th, show that that matrix satisfy Calle-Hamilton theorem. Naturally, every square matrix satisfy its own characteristic equation. That is the statement given by Calle and Hamilton. So, you can verify it. 12th, find the inverse of a matrix by Calle-Hamilton theorem. Asking to calculate only the inverse. You need not verify it. Directly, after getting the characteristic equation, that characteristic equation we are replacing with A and directly calculating the inverse. Thirteenth problem. Find the matrix of a quadratic form is given asking to calculate only the matrix, coefficient matrix. Fourteenth. Find the nature of quadratic form. 
a quadratic form in order to get the nature write down first a matrix and calculate the eigenvalues based on that eigenvalues you can decide whether it is positive definite negative definite or indefinite or something 15th reduce the quadratic form to canonical form and hence find the nature so first you convert into normal form by applying orthogonal transformation and to get the nature based on the eigenvalues you can decide it 16th find the quadratic form corresponding to a matrix is given you are finding the quadratic form the formula is q equal to x transpose ax you will get quadratic expression 17th verify Cayley hamilton theorem for so it's a direct problem matrix is given you are just verifying 18th diagonalize that matrix and find a power 4 just you verify p inverse ap equal to d you can decide whether it is diagonalizable or not then immediately you are calculating a power 4 19th compute modal matrix for a 2 by 2 matrix is given modal matrix is generally p matrix it is a matrix of eigenvectors so just you find out eigenvalues and eigenvectors for the 2 by 2 matrix and using that eigenvectors you can construct p matrix 20 find the orthogonal transformation which transforms the quadratic form into canonical form same procedure it's a lengthiest one but it is most important as per the examination point of view 21 verify that eigenvalues of a square and a inverse are the square and reciprocal of eigenvalues of a so matrix is given they are asking to verify normally for the a matrix you can find out the eigenvalues a square is nothing but square of the eigenvalues and a inverse is nothing but reciprocal of the eigenvalues of a that is a direct statement you are getting in order to verify that one you find out a square matrix for the a and individually calculate the eigenvalues these eigenvalues are similar to your square of the eigenvalues of a similarly find out a inverse and for that you calculate the eigenvalues and those eigenvalues are exactly reciprocal of eigenvalues of A. That is the meaning of verification. So these are the few important problems corresponding to unit number 2, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of Mathematics 1 as per R18, R20 regulation of JNTU Hyderabad. And the respective solutions even I will post in a separate video so that you can have a complete idea and how to write down the solution in a systematic order. Okay, have a good day.